Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 8 of the first season, let's play third season, depending on which channel you subscribe to. Um, if you joined us in episode 7, you know that we went exploring and managed to find the stronghold and the end portal, and at the end of the episode, we tried to place Eyes of... No... No, Eyes of Ender. Ender Pearls into the frames, which, as you know, doesn't work. And surprisingly, didn't teleport us into lava. Um, we've been playing this in real time, so for us it's only been maybe 15 minutes. So we just ran home, got some blaze rods, and fixed the situation. And performed the secret ritual to open the space to the end. But yeah, no. Embarrassing embarrassing um so now that we're ready to go to the end we just need to get everything prepared uh obviously we'll need some cobblestone in case the island to the end spawns in the middle of the void and one of us has to go first I think it'll be him nah i'll just go Okay, so this isn't bad. It's uh, not a void in the middle of nowhere. We've both made it through alive of wearing enchanted diamond gear. We're not bringing the diamond stuff. It's um, probably just going to lose it. And it's taken us so long to get the diamonds together to need it. You need like like three quarters of a stack to get all the diamond equipment. So just need to dig our way up to the surface here. Then we uh, can take on the Ender Dragon. Um, hopefully this will be a nice easy fight. Um, there's two of us doing it. Um, I've defeated maybe like the Ender Dragon three or four times myself, but I think each time it's been a bit of a challenge for me. Um, much more of a builder than a sort of combat player. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, for Apple's also helping build the staircase, that's good. Um, so we brought plenty of arrows with us. Um, as I said, we're only wearing iron gear, so we should be able to get this done. And obviously, as you can see, Rappel doing their scaffolding makes this much easier than it used to be. Wait, am I... I'm getting attacked by an Enderman already. How is this happening? I didn't look at anyone, did I? Right, quickly, quickly. Yeah, no, definitely being attacked. Okay. My aim's terrible, so let's quickly try and build a safe space. Yeah, he can kind of get us in here, but we're like safe enough that we can have a few potatoes. Um, thankfully, the enchanted down gear paid off. It, no chance of taking down the ender dragon if we get killed by an enderman the very first minute that we're in the end. So, let's see. Yeah, no, everything is good. So, yeah, get this. let's get the scaffolding ready. Uh, and build a way to the top. So the oh, I think uh, Rappel just uh, blew up one of the crystals. Um, yeah, so the ones that are in the cages, I always try and like to do them first because they are the most annoying ones. The rest you can just shoot with arrows. Why is this not cracking? Oh, that's it. Yeah. And, yeah, if you do it from underneath where the crystal is, just like that, you see that I didn't take any damage, so that's great. So, that's me taking down one. Yeah, there's another caged one over here. So, let's get the scaffolding ready. All the way to the top. Yeah, and always see... So you're always regenerating health and make sure you build scaffolding high enough. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. So 
Yeah, see, that one got destroyed by the pickaxe just fine, but the other one took a bow and arrow to get done. I don't understand why that is, but that's two down for me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's still tons left. So, but none of them seem to be in cages, which is good. Number three? Yeah. Bullseye. Five? Ah. No, I think this one's just a little too far away. I'm going to need to walk a bit closer. Yeah. I just think when you're that distance away, there's a certain randomness that comes to the arrows that you can't really control. Yes. One more down. And this one. Ah. Yeah, don't stand in the dragon's breath. I didn't bring bottles to capture the dragon's breath for potions. Ah, we can respawn it another day. Yes, one more. Oh, too far. Overshot. A bit lower. Mm, a bit higher. Again, eat. Let's try and keep everything topped up. Um, so, I'm going to actually... I'm going to pillow up here in the scaffolding because... One, I'll definitely know that I've taken this one out. And it'll give me a good aerial view to see how many are left. I think we must have done most of them between the two of us. That ender dragon is so loud. Flap, flap, flap. So a little arrow. Yes. So is that two left? That's not too bad. Can I get it from here? Yes, <laughs> one left. Ah, oh, it'd have been so good if I got it in that shot. This one, I feel good about this one. This one, I feel really good about this one. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's Rappel. He's managed to take it out. So yeah, that that's the tower's gone. So all we need to do now is wear down that damn dragon. And we'll be able to claim our first set of wings. Now, if you're used to playing the Bedrock Edition, you'll know that a dragon doesn't normally drop a set of Elytra uh, when they die. But we're playing with the Vanilla Tweaks pack from uh, Exuma Void on the Hermitcraft server. So there's a few things we can do, like reorientate Terracotta, uh, re-dye some colors, uh, and most importantly, you get an Elytra or Elytra when you kill the dragon. So that will allow us, one of us at least, to have a set of wings to fly out to the end islands and get the other person wings and shelter boxes. So yeah, under attack from Enderman again, but yeah, puddle of water takes care of that. I think this should also keep me safe from dra uh, Dragon's Breath mainly. No, no, it doesn't. I'm dying. Ah. Oh my. And there it is. My first death to the Ender Dragon. So, I um, cut out all the screaming and moaning. Um, and I managed to regain all the stuff that I dropped. Um, Verapple's still been here fighting away. So I'm going to create actually a more sort of permanent base that will shelter us both from the dragon's flame and any enders that try and attack us. And I'm going to build it near the central fountain here that the dragon lands on when it's damaged, just so that we've got like a safe space that we can retreat to if things go bad. I have no idea where Rappo is at the moment. Yeah, let's just start out the inventory. So, yeah, arrows are running a little low, and 
to be honest, I'm a terrible shot with the arrows you've just seen. Uh, Verapple's much better, so... I'm hoping he can do the long distance stuff where the dragon's health town. I can hang out here by the bedrock fountain. <laughs> I see one of his arrows. And whenever the dragon comes in, I can go in and go for critical hits on the head. And of course, the endermen usually help out and start attacking the dragon as well. Oh, I heard another good shot there. Just keep eating food, keep your health. Okay, so this is uh, maybe half an hour later. This is all the dragon has been doing. Flying round in circles. We ran out of arrows. We had to go back to base and actually... <gasps> yes! Well done, Rappel. We had to go back to base and make more arrows. Um, and even then, we're beginning to run out because we refused to land. So we couldn't hit him with a sword. And with no wings, you can't fly up there to hit him. So, uh, this has been so lucky. This is clearly Verapo's kill. He did a good job, so let me go in and steal all his XP. I mean, team effort. Team effort, that's what I mean. We're sharing it. So, yay, and a dragon's egg. So, let's just remember this. You have to put a torch under the block that's resting on. So, yeah, that one there. And then if we break this end stone. Yes, I'm nervous. Yes, and the egg dropped. Achievement unlocked, next generation. Let's throw it to him so he gets it too. Perfect. End dragon defeated, Minecraft conquered. Uh, I will look in. In the left there, did you see it? It was like the portal to the Nether Islands. So we can get some chorus flute, shelka boxes. It's going to be perfect. Uh, nothing left to do now, but watch the credits. Well, before we watch the credits, we decided <laughs> to uh, get rid of some of the guys that were chasing us. And um, as Verapple killed it, he got to keep both the dragon egg and the dragon's head. Fine. Plenty of dragon's heads out in the end. I want that egg, though. So, yeah, actually, this was a lot easier with two people. It wouldn't have been as bad if the dragon's AI hadn't totally messed up and just kept sending us... Not sending us, sending the dragon in the wrong direction. Like there was no way we could take that down without like infinity arrows, which we unfortunately didn't have. Ah, so this is a, the first flight. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're the dragon head. We're the elytra. This is our first flight of season three of my Minecraft world. What's he doing? Yep, there he is. And here we go. So, yeah, there's the castle that you seen the bungee lammer in last episode. Um, you can see some of the work I've done to try and get this together. Still so much to do. Um, but I'll show that in another episode. And let's go down here. Yes. And you can see our town hall box room. Uh, Luigi's got like a uh, COVID-19 rainbow tower over there. There's my green screen that I record some parts of the video in. And now a nice fly over the farming district. So suddenly this whole area that's been so hard to navigate looks tiny and small. Like you forget how much a difference a lighter makes if you're not used to it. Um, the castle's looking really good. So, I, uh, this is fantastic. Now, I don't want to totally spam it, because we don't actually have that many rockets. Like, every bit of rocket we've had, every bit of gunpowder, we have had to kill a grouper for. And we've only recently got looting three, so we probably need to build a mob farm soon. 
Um, if you can hear the piston noise, that's a paper farm because we're not in 1.16 yet, so that's not been patched out. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. The world is really starting to look good. Um, and I am currently inside the castle, in the throne room. I have demanded that my servant Verapo come pay homage to his liege. Yeah, I know what you're saying. The, it's a bit drafty. There's huge holes in the walls and the support columns are made of dirt. And the carpet's more like patchy. But yeah, you get the idea. This is going to be a very grand, opulent room when it's done. And off camera, actually, between this bit, Oh, there he comes back into the game. Um, between um, the last clip and this one, I actually have been end raiding off camera. So I managed to get a few shulker boxes. And uh, I did the nice thing and got Verapo some wings. I tried not to get many rockets, though. We don't want him thinking he's better than me, so, you know. Uh, how long is he going to keep his liege waiting? Forever. Uh, that's forever. But anyway, um, hopefully, maybe in the next episode, I'm either going to work on this castle, um, show off what I've actually built in detail, and maybe get some of your input back, see what you think I should build. Also, we still haven't named this city. Like, we're totally stuck for ideas. So if anyone's got something really good, I think the best I've heard so far is Metal God, which is quite Viking-y, but uh, I'm not sure. Um, ah! It's not a face you want to see. Um, so, yeah, any ideas is good. But the other thing is that I think 1.16 is going to drop next week. If you're watching this when the video came out, it's probably been out for a month already. Um, my PC broke. And I've desperately been trying to edit this, and I had a huge problem editing episode 6. This is obviously episode 8. Um, it just kept the whole thing back. So, sorry about that. But we will be back online soon. Um, but, yeah. Everything's starting to come together. It's just becoming a real Minecraft world. Um, anything that you want to see built, let us know, and we'll get that done. Uh, is he trying to usurp me as king? I shall kill him. But not right now. <laughs> Wizard claws. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, I need that chicken. Everything's going well. You, uh, As I said, let me know if you need anything about. And let's just, before we go, give you one last tour around the island so you can see everything that we've built. <laughs> for Apple just face planted into the ocean um, sorry, let me give you one last tour around everything that's been done that maybe not all of it you've seen on camera you get a good idea for what the place looks like um, and I'll see you guys all in the comment thanks for watching episode 8 and I will see you on episode 9 fingers crossed for another update bye